and welcome to our lesson on solving quadratic equations involving algebraic fractions. To begin with, we're going to solve question A, which is x plus 2 is equal to 28 over x minus 1. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cancel out the denominator of x minus 1 by multiplying both sides by x minus 1. And when we do this, we have the product of x plus 2 and x minus 1 is equal to 28, because these two terms will cancel. Now we can expand out the brackets. So we have x squared minus x plus the 2x minus the 2 and that will equal 28. To solve this quadratic we need to make it equal to 0 so we'll take away 28 from both sides and these will cancel. So we have x squared we'll collect these two like terms and that will be plus x and the negative 2 and the negative 28 will make negative 30 and that will equal 0. We can fact try this quadratic. We have x plus 6 and x minus 5 will equal 0. So the solutions are when each bracket equals 0. So x will equal negative 6 and x will equal positive 5. You want to try question B by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, to begin with, we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by x minus 3 because these will cancel. So we'll do that to the other side as well. So we have the product of 2x plus 1 and x minus 3. And that will equal 1. I'm going to expand out these brackets. So 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 3 is negative 6x. 1 times x is x. And 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. And that is equal to 1. We can collect these two like terms. And we can move the, the 1 to the other side to make the quadratic equal 0. So we have 2x squared minus the 5x minus the 4 will equal 0. Normally when we solve a quadratic we try and factorize but this won't factorize so we're going to use the quadratic formula. The value of a is 2, the value of b is negative 5 and the value of c is negative 4. So we will substitute these values of a, b and c into the formula. So x will equal minus a negative 5 plus or minus the negative 5 squared. This is square rooted minus 4 times a which is 2 times c which is negative 4. And this is all divided by 2 times a, which is 4. So when we work this through, we have 5 plus or minus the square root of 57 over 4. And these are your solutions for x. So there are two solutions. The first solution is when x is equal to 5 plus root 57 over 4 and the second solution is when x is equal to 5 minus root 57 over 4. So if you want to try question C by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. So to begin with for question C we're going to write both fractions with a common denominator by multiplying this fraction by x minus 2 and this fraction by x plus 5. 
So we have four lots of x minus two over the product of x plus five and x minus two minus three lots of x plus five over the same denominator and that is equal to three. So now I can write over one denominator which is going to be x squared plus 3x minus 10 and I can expand out the numerators which is 4x minus 8 and negative 3 times x is negative 3x and negative 3 times 5 is negative 15 and that again is equal to 3. So I can simplify this by collecting the 4x and the negative 3x which is x and the negative 8 take away the 15 is minus 23 over x squared plus 3x minus 10 and that is all equal to 3. So now I'm going to multiply both sides by the denominator. So I have x minus 23 is equal to 3 lots of x squared plus 3x minus 10. So x minus 23 is equal to 3x squared. I'm multiplying out these two terms, these three terms here, plus 9x minus 30. To make the quadratic equal 0, I will take away the x and add 23 to both sides. This will cancel and this will cancel. So I'm left with 0 is equal to 3x squared plus the 8x minus the 7. Again, using the quadratic formula, we can see the value of a is equal to 3, the value of b is equal to 8, and the value of c is equal to negative 7. I can substitute these values into the formula, and I am left with x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 37 over 3. So now our two solutions. The first solution is when x is equal to negative 4 plus root 37 over 3 and that is approximately negative 3.36 to three significant figures and the other solution is when x is equal to negative 4 minus root 37 over 3 and that is when x is approximately 0.694 again to three significant figures. Okay, for question D, do you want to try this question yourself by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is write them both with a common denominator by multiplying this fraction by 3x minus 1 and this fraction by 2x minus 1. So I have three lots of 3x minus 1 over the product of 2x minus 1 and 3x minus 1. Take away four lots of 2x minus 1 over the same denominator. And that is all equal to 1. So now I'll expand this denominator out. I have 2x times 3x which is 6x squared, 2x times negative 1 which is negative 2x, negative 1 multiplied by 3x which is negative 3x and negative 1 times negative 1 which is positive 1 and the numerator is 3 times 3x which is 9x, 3 times negative 1 which is negative 3 the negative 4 times the 2x, which is negative 8x. And the negative 4 times the negative 1, which is positive 
4, and that is equal to 1. You are simplifying both the numerator and denominator by collecting these like terms. So we have x, the negative 3 and the positive 4 makes positive 1 over 6x squared. The negative 2 and the negative 3x make negative 5x and plus the 1 is equal to 1. So now I'll multiply both sides by the denominator. So I'm left with x plus 1 is equal to 6x squared minus 5x plus 1. This is the quadratic which I can make equal 0 by taking away x and taking away the 1 from both sides. So these will cancel and these will cancel. So I'm left with 0 is equal to 6x squared minus the 6x and these will cancel. I can factorise out the 6x so 0 is equal to 6x lots of x minus 1. The solution is when each term will equal 0 so 6x will equal 0 and x minus 1 will equal 0. The first solution is when x equals 0 and the second solution is when x is equal to 1. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.